Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Um, I am going to be sculpting the legs for my blue heron today. And um, whenever I sculpt an animal, I really like to do a lot of research and look at a lot of images. And then of course, when I'm outdoors, um, I take a lot of photos and things like that. So I just spend a lot of time trying to figure out um, the anatomy of the animal before I go to sculpt it. And so um, blue heron, legs and feet, uh, they're incredibly bony looking actually, um, and they're super skinny. So this is gonna be a difficult challenge to get these legs um, strong enough and built in a way that they're gonna support the blue heron body. So an armature is really gonna have to be um, utilized for this, and, and I'm okay with that. Uh, the other thing is the toes are going to play a really critical role. Um, and a blue heron, some birds they have, you know, all birds are different, just like humans, but um, smaller birds usually have four, so they've got three in the front and then one in the back, and then they automatically tighten whenever they go to perch on a branch. And then larger birds um, that are around water that might not necessarily perch on a branch, but are near the water's edge. It's almost like they're walking on the water, um, but they have really long skinny toes that allows them to almost um, kind of grace. Like for example, think of a lily pad. They're able to kind of stand on that in a way that it doesn't sink them down um, and it gives them more balance. So those are gonna be the challenges that I have with um, creating the legs um, and attaching them to the body. But for today, I'm just going to create them because they will have to stiffen up. And then uh, I think the more interesting part will be um, when I add them to the actual body. So stay tuned for that one. But for today, we're just going to get them sculpted. So I hope you enjoy it.